You know what's awesome? The Mission Impossible series has been playing a never-ending game of Can You Top This since that classic 1996 flick. They just keep outdoing themselves like it's nobody's business. It's like they're determined to blow our minds with each new movie, leaving us wondering how on earth they'll up the ante next. Starting off strong with Mission Impossible in 1996, they set the bar high. But oh no, they weren't done yet. They cranked up the throttle with Mission Impossible 2, zooming into our hearts with high-speed motorcycle chases that had us screaming for more. Then hold on to your seats, because Mission Impossible 3 brought us the stuff of nightmares with an absolutely terrifying villain. Like, seriously, who even sleeps after watching that one? Next up was Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, and they didn't just climb the Burj Khalifa, they scaled the heights of action movie greatness, reaching new heights both literally and figuratively. But wait, there's more! Mission Impossible Rogue Nation treated us to a delicious, spy-tastic extravaganza. They sprinkled some stealthy espionage treats all over that one, and we ate it up like popcorn at the movies. And just when we thought they might run out of steam, Mission Impossible Fallout hit the screens, and boy, did it have us on the edge of our seats. A gripping nuclear prevention tale that made our hearts race faster than Tom Cruise running from one dangerous situation to the next. Ethan Hunt's latest mission, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, might be the best installment in the long-running series yet. In a surprisingly topical tale about the dangers of artificial intelligence, Ethan and his team are tasked with finding and destroying a rogue AI known only as the Entity. The resulting globe-trotting journey leads to some incredible action set pieces and more than a few shocking twists and turns. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 is about to blow our minds. The hype is real, and the entertainment industry is going through a bit of a roller coaster ride lately, and there's a teeny tiny chance that Ethan Hunt's next thrilling mission might be hit with a delay. I mean, come on, when you're dealing with mind-blowing action like this, it's bound to take some time and effort to bring it all to life. Now for the juicy details you're craving. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 is scheduled to hit the big screens in less than a year, folks. Mark your calendars for the heart-pounding experience on Friday, June 28, 2024. However, there is a strong possibility that the date may be pushed back. That's because production on Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 has been halted by the ongoing sag after strike and won't be able to continue until the historic industry-wide conflict is resolved. But wait! Before we get into it, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell to never miss an update on your favorite movies and TV shows. Now, let's see who is in the cast of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2. The ultimate action legend Tom Cruise is back at it again as fearless IMF agent Ethan Hunt. I mean, seriously, this guy's stunts are so crazy, they should give him an award just for being fearless in front of the camera. He's practically a one-man show and a cinema icon. But Ethan's not taking on the entity alone. Joining the party is the fantastic Haley Atwell, known for her standout performance in Captain America The First Avenger as the mysterious Grace. And let's not forget the hilarious Simon Pegg, who's reprising his role as the tech genius Benji, along with the legendary Ving Rhames as Luther, forming an epic dream team to aid Ethan in his quest. Oh, but here comes the mystery. Remember Rebecca Ferguson's fantastic portrayal of Ilza Faust? Yeah, she's on the cast list too. But given how things went down in part one, we might need a flashback sequence or some serious plot twists to see her again. It could be the stuff of movie magic, who knows? Now, on to the baddies. Isai Morales as Gabriel, Vanessa Kirby as the White Queen, and Palm Clementiev as Paris are all back to give Ethan a run for his money. And get this, Paris might even become a redeemed ally after surviving some serious wounds in part one. Talk about keeping us on our toes! But that's not all! Be ready for more familiar faces from the first film to make a comeback. Shea Wiggum, Greg Tarzan Davis, Charles Parnell, and Henry Zerny as Kittredge are all set to add their magic to the mix. And hey, let's not forget Rolf Saxon making a grand return as William Donlow, a character we haven't seen since the very beginning. And to top it all off, there will be new talent to shake things up too. Hannah Waddingham, the Emmy winner from Ted Lasso, the Emmy-nominated Nick Offerman from The Last of Us, and Mindhunter's Holt McCallany are all on board. Plus, Janet McTeer and Lucy Tulugarayuk are joining the action, making this cast list more star-studded than a Hollywood gala. 
Honestly, with this crew, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 is shaping up to have epic proportions. I can't wait to see the fuse lighting sequence on the big screen. What is the plot of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2? The movie is gearing up to deliver an epic conclusion to Ethan Hunt's quest for the entity. And trust me, it's going to be one wild, action-packed adventure. While we're still eagerly awaiting the official plot synopsis, one thing's for sure, Ethan Hunt isn't giving up on this chase. The world might be against him, with governments and third parties trying to thwart his mission, but you know our guy Ethan, he's not one to back down easily. If anything, he's probably going to be more determined than ever to track down the entity and put a stop to whatever mischief it's planning. Gabriel, that villainous scoundrel, has crossed a serious line by taking out not one, but two people very dear to Ethan. You can bet your bottom dollar that Ethan's not going to let that slide. Retribution is on the menu, and Gabriel better watch out, because when it comes to protecting his own, Ethan Hunt is a force to be reckoned with. And what's an epic conclusion without some familiar faces and new adversaries thrown into the mix? Ethan will undoubtedly be enlisting the help of his trusty old friends, the ones who've been through thick and thin with him. But who knows? This daring escapade might also introduce us to some new foes, making the stakes even higher and the action even more intense. Who is directing Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2? Oh, it's not just the on-screen action that's in for a treat. The behind-the-scenes crew for the movie is shaping up to be a dream team too. These folks are the real wizards behind the magic and they're back to work their cinematic sorcery once again. Leading the charge is the talented writer-director Christopher McQuarrie, who's practically an honorary member of the Mission Impossible family by now. He's already directed the jaw-dropping Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and the heart-pounding Mission Impossible Fallout, so he knows how to bring the pulse-pounding excitement to the screen. And let's not forget that he's teaming up with Eric Gendrison, the brilliant scribe behind Band of Brothers, to cook up the movie's thrilling screenplay. With these two on board, we know we're in for a ride. But what is the magic of the score that sets our hearts racing? That's all thanks to composer Lorna Balf, who's returning to add his musical prowess to the mix. And we can't overlook the visual feast the movie will offer thanks to talented cinematographer Fraser Taggart, who's got a flair for capturing stunning visuals. Then there's the master of cutting-edge editing, Eddie Hamilton, who's back to make sure every scene pops like fireworks. And last but not least, the production designer Gary Freeman is here to create the mesmerizing world we'll dive into. From thrilling action sequences to jaw-dropping locations, he's the one responsible for making the impossible possible on the set. With all the behind-the-scenes talent returning and the ongoing sag after strike causing potential delays, I'm curious to know, how do you think this latest installment will top its predecessors? Let me know what you think in the comment section.